Welcome to this first step where we are going to discuss a lot of basics about Eclipse. When you launch up Eclipse, one of the first things it asks for is called a workspace. A workspace is where you maintain all your projects. In a single workspace, I can have multiple projects present. So, workspace is kind of a way to organize your projects. I'll start with entering that right now. This can be any folder on your hard disk. You can select any folder on your hard disk and press enter or click the OK button. What would happen now is that Eclipse would launch up and it would show you the default welcome screen. This might take a while if this is the first time you're launching up Eclipse. You see that Eclipse launches up, it shows the welcome screen. For now, I'm not really worried about the welcome screen. If you want to spend some time with it, just feel free to spend some time clicking the different links which are in here, which might help you to get started faster. For now, I'll just close this. We will talk about all the different windows that you are seeing here in future step. For now, let's focus on creating a new project. So what we want to do is we want to create a new Java project. Project is where you would store all your application files. So let's create a project first. So how do you do that? File new other and type in Java. So you can see that there's something called Java project comes up in here. So let's go ahead and do that. When you click next, you need to give a name to the project. So I'll call this Eclipse in five. You can leave the default location as it is. I would want to use Java 8. You can choose, you can leave it at defaults and you can click the finish button. Once you click finish, Eclipse would create the project and it would launch up something called a Java perspective. We will learn about perspectives a little later. For now, you can just say yes. Awesome. This is your first Java project. So you have been able to successfully create your first Java project. Congratulations. Okay, let's now, now that we have created a project, let's create a new class. So I'll go ahead and say control N or command N, or you can choose again file new and come over here. You can say file new class, or you can say control N or command N and choose file new class and click next. So now we are creating a Java class. Here we are choosing the default package, which is not really a good practice. Let's keep it simple for now. So I'll just call it hello world. And you'd see that now a simple Java class is created. One of the things you can do is type in main and press control space bar. If you type in main and press control space bar, you'd see that there's an option called main method come, that comes up. So I would choose that. You'd see that the entire syntax of the main method is created. Now I'll go ahead and type in sysout and press control space bar again, and it becomes system.out.println. All that I did is sysout and press control space bar, it becomes system.out.println. And I can type in hello world. Let's also increase the font size a little bit. How do I do that? I can go to Eclipse preferences. If you are on Windows, it's Windows preferences and type in font. So I can change the appearance as well. So I'm changing the basic text font. So just go to basic text. 11 is not sufficient for me. It's not really clear enough in the video. So let's make it 24. Apply, okay, and there you go. So now you can see that the entire thing is really well organized. I can run this program. How do I do that? It's right click, run as Java application. You'd see that a new window would come up that's called console. And over there, you'd see that the output is printed. So there you go. That's your first step into the world of Eclipse. What we have done in this step is we created a project. So the way we created a project was just a file new and we chose Java project. So file new Java project. And we gave the name as Eclipse in five steps and we chose the defaults, click next, next. And then we created a simple Java file. And then we used the control space or the command space shortcut to create our main method. And also we used the control space shortcut key to create the sysout.println as well. So all that we had to do was type in sysout and press control space. And the other thing which we were able to do is do a right click run as Java application and execute the program. So this is a lot of magic in Eclipse that we uncovered in this specific step. If you're already experienced with Eclipse, then most of the stuff that we did in this specific step would be very basic to you. 
Do not worry, we'll learn a lot more in the next steps. If you are a beginner, I would recommend you to create another project, create another class and try executing that specific class and see how it works out. Until the next step, bye-bye.